Hello, I officially welcome you to Health Tech on Das TV. This is the only program where we use social media to educate people about their health. Today, I'm going to give an answer to a question that I have received from one of my, I mean, let me see, followers. Yeah. Um, he wants to know what it means to uh, have a BP. You see, when you go to the hospital and then they check your BP, we have two values. They will tell you that we have the top one and the down one. You want to know what these two values mean. And that is the purpose of this video. So if you are also wondering, or if you also have a question in relation to this thing, you go to the hospital and it's like they check your BP. And let's say they tell you it's 120, 90. But you don't seem to understand what this value means. This video is definitely for you. Well, um, if you are new here, um, I would want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Probably if you are watching me on YouTube, it's Das TV. Um, hit the subscription button right under this video. And anytime you do that, um, what you've done is that you get most of my videos I make. Also, to aid YouTube to notify you of any video I upload within the week, just click on the notification bell, go to the subscribe button and you get notifications of any video I upload so that I get answers to most of the questions people ask in relation to their health. If you are also watching me on Facebook, I really appreciate you for always sharing my videos and then commenting. I will say that um, hit the like button so that you can follow and then probably get more of my videos. Uh, if you have any question, uh, whether you are watching me from Facebook or YouTube, Please endeavor to leave in the comment section and I'll answer them as quickly as possible. And I'll be very happy if your question will be related to um, the content of this video. So if there's anything here that you don't understand, um, you can ask your question in the comment box below. So I'm going to give you an answer to this very question and um, I want you to watch this video to the end. In fact, don't just watch, make sure you share it to as many people as you can. I mean, give room for others to also uh, learn from this channel. My name is Kobe and I'm your teacher for today. Assuming you went to the hospital, the nurse checked your BP and then he, he or she told you that it's 120.80 milliliter per mercury. You went further to ask him or her and nurse, what does it mean? Probably he gave you an explanation, but you didn't seem to understand. This video is definitely going to give a definitive answer to whatever you didn't understand at that time. So, I mean, keep watching. So we are going to use this as a scenario. Let's say you went to the hospital and then you checked your VP and then you were told of the value as 120.80. What does it mean? You can see that there are two values involved. We have the 120 and then we have the 80. These two values have different meanings. And then they indicate, I mean, they tell a lot about the functionality of your heart. But I mean, they tell a lot about the movement of blood, in your, uh, I mean, in your blood vessels. They tell a lot about your cardiovascular system. How, 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 how probably um, effective your cardiovascular system is. So let's see, what does the 120 mean and what does the 80 mean? That is basically what I'm going to talk about. So pay rapt attention to this. The 120 is the top value. So as you are seeing on the screen, we have the top value and then the down value. So the top value is the highest, it's usually the highest. There is no way you go to the hospital and then have your BP checked and the top value will be lesser than the down value. As in the 90 will be found at the top and the 120 will be down. That is really abnormal and it won't happen. Usually the top part has a value higher than the down part. That is why you are seeing 120, 180. So other times you may come across other values like 140, 90. It depends. We don't have the same BP value. 
and there are certain factors that um, actually affect our blood pressure so i'll have time to talk about that that is if someone asks this question usually i give answers to questions people will ask so what does the 120 stand for it stands for what we call the systolic blood pressure so let me talk about that before i move on to talk about the lower value when you say systolic blood pressure you see i want you to understand this the heart is responsible for pumping blood through your blood vessels and then your blood vessels are net weight what this means is that they are they, they've moved across your body they are at every part of your body so when your heart pumps the blood the blood i mean the oxygenated blood moves through the blood vessels and then gives blood i mean oxygenated blood to any part of the body now when this happens your, your, your body parts are able to function as normal as they have been stipulated to do so the systolic blood pressure here has to do with how hard your heart pumps the blood through your blood vessels this is very simple to understand so the systolic blood pressure which is the 120 the highest value tells the amount of pressure or force your heart pushes the blood through the blood vessels so if you have 120 what this means is that your heart is using um, a force of 120 to push blood through your blood vessels if you're having 150 it means that your heart is using um, a force of 150 to push blood through your blood vessels and this is too much for your blood vessel to receive especially if you are having a blood pressure um, above 120 usually the, the normal should be let's say 110 to 120 and sometimes a little further to 180 that pressure for the systolic is enough but if you're having something more than 140 then it signifies that the pressure the highest amount of pressure your heart pumps blood to the blood vessels is more than what is required and then if there is no taking you would probably um damage your heart muscles which is known as the myocardium or perhaps the 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 the, the, the muscles of the um blood vessels so this is basically the the, the concept when it comes to um, the, the systolic blood pressure. Another thing I also want to add the systolic blood pressure, which is usually the highest value, is that um, it also measures how well the heart contracts. To pump blood you see the heart is like this and then there is blood in it now before the blood will move out the heart will have to contract now when the heart contracts what happens here is that the space in the heart reduces and as a matter of fact that mechanism pushes the blood through the blood vessels so the 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 the, the level of contraction can also be said to be the systolic blood pressure so the force with which the heart contracts to push blood through your blood vessels is termed as the systolic blood pressure and as i said the normal should be probably 100 to 120 or let's say 129 usually something above 140 is abnormal and then usually when it persists um you are likely to be having a condition known as hypertension but then the fact that your blood pressure is checked and the systolic blood pressure which is the highest value um, is above let's say 130 or 140 doesn't mean that you have hypertension usually there are other factors like your position it might happen that you never start work for the next to i mean check your blood pressure that can affect the value it might also happen that you just walked in and sat there for the next to check that can also affect the value uh, it can also happen that you have a disease probably diabetes or something of that sort can also affect the value so um your doctor won't just say you have blood pressure the very moment you checked for i mean that short time you'll be put on a blood pressure monitoring for let's say a week or two and then if the value persists i mean if you get values above 140 um going then it can be said that you have hypertension so you put on a medication or medications to rectify that
talk about is the diastolic blood pressure which is the smaller value um as in the 80 so you see when the heart pumps the blood or let me say when the heart contracts and then pushes the blood through the blood vessels it must relax so when your heart pumps the blood and i mean it's now relaxing there is a refill what this means is that the the, the you see the, the the pumping action of the heart is consistent so it contracts so it, it contracts and then it pushes the blood to the blood vessels but when that is done it must relax the relaxation moment of your heart is known as the diastolic blood pressure so when you have a value of let's say 80 then it specifically means that your, the, the, the force with which your heart uses to relax is 80 that is basically the concept here so the realization moment of your heart is a diastolic moment and that is the 80 so the normal should probably range from 60 to 80 and sometimes a little further to 90 but if you are having a diastolic of 100 and above it signifies that the rate at which your heart relaxes is abnormal and when that happens it can also be said that your heart can't really um give room for itself to be refilled with the um deoxygenated blood so basically these are the concepts so when you go to the hospital and then your, your bp is checked and you have these two values and then with the understanding here you'll be able to deduce the meaning of these values i believe i have given an answer to what you have been bothering about if this video has been very helpful i believe it will be also helpful to others as well so give room for others to have a fair share of this what you can do is to share this video to as many people as you can if you are watching me on facebook and if you are using the probably the youtube app you can also share that to as many people as you can i mean to your family to your friends and to other platforms thank you very much for having time to watch me but before i take leave of you if you haven't yet subscribed to my youtube channel please hit the subscribe button right under this video and there's a bell close to the subscription button which is known as the notification bell click on that and um, when you do that what you've done is that anytime i upload a new video youtube will notify you and you get time to watch there are more questions i have received and i have to give answers to them in a video format so i believe um you will get the best out of that so subscribe and then let's learn together my name is kobe and you were on health tech thank you very much i hope to see you in the next video